Hello world, how is live? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're making cheese pasta with chicken. Let's go. Right, let's take a look at the ingredients. We have some shiitake mushroom, some already sliced carrots, some leftover spinach, one whole green bell pepper, half a can of corn, one yellow onions whole, one piece of chicken, some penne, tomato sauce, and cheese. Okay, first is to fill half a medium pot with water and bring to boil on medium heat for pasta. Unlike other recipe we did before, we want our yellow onion diced this time for visual purpose, I guess. Yay, time to pan fry some yellow onion dices. Let's go. Here we have some green bell pepper. For this guy, we want them to be in medium slices. So just go ahead. Remove the CD core, cut them in half, and start slicing. Here we cut some nice thin chicken pieces for pan frying together with other vegetable. Once done, simply drop them into the pan for frying, and don't forget to stir constantly. I'm sure nobody wants a tasteless pasta dish, so for us, we add just a pinch of oregano leaves, parsley flakes, and black pepper for spice. But do not add too much because the taste will become quite overwhelming. Next two candidates for pan frying are carrots and shiitake mushrooms. And don't forget to stir. By now, the water we prepared should be almost at boiling point. Here we are adding to the pot the desired amount of penne or any other form of pasta and bring to boil. Canned corn is optional. We love corn so there's no guilt adding them here whatsoever. Now drop some green bell pepper slice. And this is what the pan is looking so far. Pretty colorful I must say. Now it's time for tomato sauce. We use up at least half a medium glass can of tomato sauce for every 4 meals. These spinach leaves look a lot but it will become so small eventually thanks to the heat. You will see. You know penne is cooked when they are soft. And right now we are transferring all the veggie goodies from the pan over and begin to mix. Just look at that, will surely taste like heaven. Now in a big oven safe container, transfer the penne mixture over and spread them out. Sprinkle the cheese along the surface of the mixture and place it inside the oven for 8-10 to 10 minutes on 180 Celsius. And here's how it turns out, simply beautiful and magnificently cheesy. Thank you so much for watching these videos guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will hugely benefit us and give us much more motivation to create more videos like this for you guys every week. Also, don't forget about our Instagram and TikTok. We post a variety of contents every now and then. Check it out. See you next time.